Oh, once again, it's on. Back at you one more again, Real Ken's TV in the house like kitchen sinks. Hopefully you like the video. Feel free to comment, definitely share, subscribe to the Chizano, and that post notification. Anytime I bring you this, this action, this heat, guess what? You're amongst the first to receive it. Now, with no further ado, let's get into uh, this evening's video, if you will. You know, I was watching a dude, don't know him. Um, his name is E Solid. Y'all check out E Solid. He was uh, released from uh, prison after serving 25 years in Angola. Uh, when Louisiana, I'm not sure if he was at Angola the whole time, but um, served 25 years in the Louisiana prison system, and he was able to be released. He was talking about C murder and how when he initially met C murder, C murder was in prison with nothing that he used to break down his bust down his money orders and split what he had and help C murder out. You know, I don't think that that's necessarily the case now, but in my eyes, it never should have been the case. My thing is this. You got all these rappers. You got all these rappers. Your Diddy's. Your Dr. Dre's. Your Jay-Z's. Your Drake's. Your Eminem's. Your 50 Cent. Birdman. These guys. Your Master P's which obviously for you all that are familiar with the situation, Master P is C Murder's brother. You have all of these top tier Snoop Dogg. These people make a lot of money and have a lot of power. They're not just rappers that make, you know, Irv Gotti. They're not just rappers that, you know, make a couple million dollars here and there which is a lot of money, don't get me wrong, but these guys are upper echelon. Have just made so much money over the years that they've been in the game. But yet, nobody is trying to form something in which they all come together to get see murder out. Of prison. I don't get that. I don't get that. Is it their responsibility? No. But at the same time, let me tell you why they should do it. Snoop said, it wasn't even that long ago, but he said it maybe 10 years ago. I don't know exactly how long ago it was. But Snoop said, hey, for Master P, it wasn't no money in rap. Think about that. Before Master P, there was no money in rap, not for the artist. So you have this artist, but he's more of a businessman than an artist that comes along. He forever changes the rap game, forever. I don't care if somebody's worth $10 billion. There'll never be a, a hustler greater than Master P in my eyes and many others like me. <laughs> and you have this businessman that comes along and changes the game and shows everybody else how to get money. These, ain't, these aren't my words. Snoop said it. Master P came along and showed the artist how to get money. Yeah, you had Death Row. They was getting money, but guess what? Suge was getting money. He wasn't breaking bread with the artist. Snoop said it. Several other artists said it. When you came to No Limit, you had a house. You had a couple cars. You had a Uzi. <laughs> That's what he said. You know what I mean? Everything was in your name. You had some money in your bank account, and it was time to go to work. What other labels doing that? You got P. Diddy right now. Y'all ride with me because this might be a long video. So it's one of them videos, man, that you just, you know, you just put on. 
and you just ride to. Perhaps you're trying to go to sleep. Perhaps you're in your car driving. Perhaps you just, you know, I don't know. But it's going to be a, a, a lengthy video, if you will. You got P. Diddy acting as though he's doing so much because he gave his artists their publishing back. Well, Mark Curry, a former bad boy artist, spoke about that. You know what I mean? Mark Curry, uh, I believe he did that. I don't really know a lot of his songs from Bad Boy, but I know that he has an issue with P. Diddy. And I believe he did that. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. We can't be stopped now. Because this Bad Boy for life. I think that's a Mark Curry song. But of course, P. Diddy's in the, all in the video, dancing in the video. So he broke it down and said to people that don't understand the music industry. Yeah, it seems like it's a, a great gesture that P. Diddy gave their artist, former artist rather, the publishing back. But at this point, who's really, you don't make money off publishing unless people use your songs. Who's really using these songs at this point? It's been so long. He should have did that a long time ago to where we could have made some bread off the song. That's what Mark Curry said. So you got a lot of these execs that are really just out for themselves. So no, you may not personally fool with Master P, but you say, hey, I respect what he did for the game. I'm up now. I'm all the way up. Let's put something together and try to get his brother out. Because when a person comes forward and says, hey, no, see, murder is innocent, man. I did the killing. I did the shooting. The only reason I lied because the detectives, they did this. They, you know, they, they told me that if I didn't say this, then they was going to do this to me, to my family. But no, I did the it's an innocent man sitting in prison. When you have somebody that comes out and says that. And you all still don't come together. In unity, pause. And try to get this man out of prison. Man, something's wrong, man. I see Jay-Z, you know, he's done his prison reform. Him and Meek Mills, they done built fathers out of prison on Father's Day and Christmas and things of that nature. And I understand. But when you have an individual such as C-Murder, what about him? I'm not saying he's better than anybody else. I'm just saying, what about him? His brother showed you all how to get money. You got Kim Kardashian that's on the case, but heck, she can only do so much. She's facing a whole racist state of, uh, you know, she's in New Orleans, Louisiana. She can only do so much. Kanye West, where you at? I failed to mention you earlier. So I'm just simply saying, like, you got Monica. She's helping him. She can only do so much. Shout out to them. Kim Kardashian, Monica, Lil Boosie. He seems, you know, from what I can tell, he seems to be supportive of uh, C. Murdy. He speaks on him any opportunity that he has. I seen him do a live not long ago. He was like, oh, let me send C. Murder some money. I know Kevin Gates has gone to see him, to see him. But these guys really, they voice don't really stretch like that. NBA young boy fools with him. So you got guys that, that fool with C murder. But it's gonna take now you need some some no disrespect. Like you need some some heavy the Jay-Z's, the, the Diddy's, they I ain't never heard none of these dudes say free C murder. None of them. Then I look at Master P and I say, that's why he don't fool with the, the celebrities like that. I'm only going to fool with you when you're hot. You ain't hot. We ain't, we ain't rocking no more. So that's why he rocks with who he rocks with. Big Court. 
What's his name? Juki? Juki? Big Boz, his right-hand man. He rocks with, you know, who he rocks with. That's one thing I say about them New Orleans dudes, man. They ain't, ain't no new friends. They got the same people in their corner, from what I can tell, from when they ain't have nothing. They ain't doing the Hollywood thing, the celebrity thing. They, they ain't on it. Perhaps I'm renting tonight, and I'm doing my part. It's a very, very small part. So I want you all to do your part. If you fool with No Limit, if you fool with C-Murder, man, share my video. If you fool with No Limit, if you fool with C-Murder, share my video. How long does it take to share a video? Doesn't take long at all. Share the video. I'm asking, uh, how do you pull it? Uh, I'm nicely asking. Humbly asking. I don't know C-Murder. I ain't never met C-Murder. But you hate to see an individual that's just sitting in prison. And they know that he's innocent. But it's like, okay, he may be innocent on this. But what about all the other things that he did? So we're going to just let him sit in here and just rot. Man, that man got three daughters, man. I'm sure he done lost a whole lot of family members since he's been incarcerated. Now, some of these things he put on himself, he has to take accountability. You know, he has to change the people that he's going to be around. If he is so uh, gracious enough, if you will, to make it home, he can't be doing the same things that he was doing. But at the same time, it's like, man, where y'all at? Mr. Servo speaks on him all the time, Mac. Another former No Limit artist did, what, 20 years plus for something that, you know, they said he didn't do. They all speak positive on, you know, about C-Murder, but they don't really have that, that reach. I just don't understand it, man. Where y'all at? This man is sitting in prison. Now, I'm not saying that people are not doing anything under the surface. I believe that's what P's doing. A lot of people's mad at P, man. A lot of people are mad at P because they feel like, damn, P, it's your brother, man. Yeah, you shout him out in concerts. Yeah, you shout him out in concerts, but you don't even talk about him. Like, what's, you know, what's, what's going on, bro? But see, we don't know the ins and outs of everything that's going on. We don't know. P could probably, it seems to me, it's just my opinion. P was upset when he found out that Kim Kardashian was on the case. So that's caused friction between him and Romeo because Romeo was like, Pops, man, why are you mad? Why are you tripping, man? She's trying to get Unk out. See, Murder had made a statement that Kim Kardashian was this angel. P didn't like it. P say, no, nah, man. Big mama, that's, that was a grandmother. She's our angel. Why are you giving praise to, to Kim Kardashian? So little Romeo was like, nah, Pops, man, you, you, you taking it the wrong way. She's, you know, she's in support. She's trying to help. Why are you having a problem with anybody that's trying to help? On the flip side, P say, man, I'm working on some things. And it's just not, I think that it's going to bring a distraction to what I'm trying to work on, what I'm trying to do. Everything ain't meant to be broadcasted. I'm just simply saying, man, a lot of these people that got all this bread, they wouldn't have it if it wasn't for P coming along and exposing the music industry. Yeah, somebody would have eventually done it. But not the way P did it. Not the way P did it. So in turn, because he did that, a lot of these artists that I mentioned, they got the bag. They got big bags. Big, big bags. Pause. 
I just think it's a shame, man, that guys come home and they talk about C murder. They say he's in good spirits. They say he's a funny guy. They say he's, you know, keeping his head up. He has a positive attitude. Understand this. Understand this. What if you was innocent? 100% innocent. And you've been sitting in prison. See, murder been in prison, what, since 2022? I'm sorry, 2002, rather. I know he had house arrest and, and, you know, he would get out on bond and he would violate and that would cause a friction between him and P because P was the one that paid his bond. And it was like, bro, you keep running back to the hood and you not supposed to be doing this. And so, you know, they had friction in, but I'm saying 20 years plus incarcerated for something that you didn't do. Yeah, you've done some things in the past that, you know, you was thugging. You was pulling the chipe pistol out on people. But a life sentence, life, life. Temperature is about 100 degrees. And, and, and my destiny. I reckon I fly away. Should have been a love slave. Now, as you can tell, I clearly don't know all the words, but you understand what I'm saying. Tell me, how did I get lie? You sitting in life. Life. Only way you can come home, you know, E. Solid was talking about how, you know, they changed the law to where the 10 2 law. The 10-2 law, y'all look it up. Two jurors found him not guilty, but yet they still convicted him anyway. They changed that to where they can no longer go off the 10-2 laws. 12 jurors. Two of them found you not guilty. They still convicted him anyway. They've changed that, but yet they're trying to get it retroactive to all the people who were convicted under that 10-2 law. It's called going uh, uh, retro, retroactive. So let's see murder's chance of getting out of prison. It's gonna take some. It's gonna take a push. It's gonna take some heavy hitters. Kim can't do it on her own. She's only one person. See, a lot of people they say, "Well, why didn't see murder get a pardon when uh, Trump was?" You know, giving people pardons. Let me break it down to you. Which I think is stupid. The president of the United States can only pardon federal inmates. If you're a state inmate, state charges, they have no jurisdiction. They can't do it. That's the most backward things that I, I've ever heard of. Master P was one of the first contributors of Obama's campaign. Way before Obama even ran for president. P was contributing to Obama's campaign. So I'm quite sure that they had conversations as time went on. Yo, you know, my brother's incarcerated. Obama couldn't pardon C murder. Has to be a federal case. Now, oftentimes federal is thought of as more serious crimes. So perhaps that's the reason that the, the president can pardon federal uh, inmates opposed to state inmates. But are you the president of the United States? You're supposed to have the most power in all the land. So you don't have enough power to pardon state inmates? 
So that's why you didn't see C murder released when President Trump was pardoning people. Now, I don't know how it's going to be for C-Murder if he's, you know, by the grace of God, if he's released. I know he has Monica in his corner. I know he has some people, you know, he's going to come home to some money. I don't necessarily think he's going to come home to, like, the red carpet like BG got. I don't think he's going to be no million dollars waiting on him. It should, if you ask me. Master P's going on a worldwide tour, man. 75. Last time I seen it, he's doing 75 dates. I fool with P. But this is Real Ken's TV, and I'm going to call a spade a spade, man. We're going to keep it real at all times. 75 dates. I see him scream, free C murder. If he hasn't already been doing it, I would take X amount of dollars as though he was really there performing. Whatever I was going to pay him in every show, I would put it up for him. So say C. Murder was going to get 20000 a show. I don't know. I'm just using 20000 you know. And you're doing 75 dates. That's 20,000 times 75. And that's what I would do. I would put it up, put it in escrow or, or you know, put it in, in, in something that's gaining interest. I don't care, you know, uh, how small the interest is. I put it in something that's you know, gaining interest, and I'd have it put up for him. What's that, a million and a half? Put it up for him. If he hasn't already been doing that. So now you come home. Hey, bro, you need to move up out of Louisiana, man, New Orleans. These people don't want you here. So rather you got to come out here to L.A. with me, Whether you got to go to uh, Atlanta, you know, Monaco, or or just somewhere, come up out of there, bro. That's my brother. So I'm going to have him some money put up. You come home, get you a little crib. You come to L.A., you stay with me. You can live in one of my houses. You know, I got multiple properties. I'm speaking as though I'm, you know, how P would speak. Got a million and a half for you. Probably more than that, for real. And whatever you want to do, we can work on, man. But the first time I see you, you know, still trying to thug, still trying to hang in the hood, still trying to... Nah, man. Then I got to cut you off for good. And that's just how I view things. That's how I look at it, man. Sad situation. Sad situation. You can't tell me that Jay-Z can't form. Now, I'm not saying that it's Jay-Z's job to do it. Again, I'm not saying that. I know he had a lot on his plate. He got his kids. He got his family. He got his business. He got it. But I'm saying, man. If I was in that industry... Even if I never even met P, if I ain't no P, but I worked my way up and I had some power, man, I would do anything that I could possibly do to help. Can't make no guarantees, can't make, but I'm, I'm going to try to help the situation. Just seems like, man, see, murder's just in prison, just rotten, man. Left for dead. Because I don't see nobody screaming, you know, free C murder. Nobody. Other than the few people that I mentioned, nobody outside of that. Hip hop community is a small community. And, you know, 
know, I guess it just is what it is, man. Free C murder. Hopefully him and P can mend their relationship. Nobody really speaks on it, so you don't really know exactly what's going on. You kind of have to read between the lines. I'm sure that C murder's in prison doing just well, but he got three daughters out here that at this point are grown. They're going to have kids if they don't already have kids. And this man has spent the better part of their lives locked up for something that apparently he didn't even do. Nobody's speaking up for him. And when I say nobody, I don't literally mean nobody. You got people speaking up for him. But the main people, you don't hear nothing. You see Diddy dancing around, you know what I'm saying, bopping around. And that's cool, and I'm not blaming Diddy. Diddy then, you know, he got his own problems. Diddy got his own problems. But you all guys, man, I guess it's just like shit. It is what it is, man. He locked up, shoot. I mean, I don't know. I guess ain't nobody really thinking about C-Murder like that. But somebody should have brought it to somebody's attention. If they weren't thinking about it. Real Kids TV. Hopefully you liked the video. Feel free to comment. Definitely uh, share. I want y'all to share my videos. Man. Definitely this one. If you don't share any other video, share this one. Subscribe to the Chiz channel. So anytime I bring you this, this action, this heat. You're amongst the first to receive it. We out.